Stewart High School. My name is Matthew Stryance, high school principal. Tonight we celebrate all the hard work and dedication of the top 15 students in each class, as well as our community scholarships awarded to seniors. Through the generosity of local businesses and organizations, there is over $70,000 awarded in scholarships tonight. At this time, please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now to share some additional remarks, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Alex Adamo. Good evening, West Milford High School Class of 2020, and congratulations to all of our award winners. The awards and scholarships you will be winning tonight are our way and our community's way of congratulating you not just on one great school year but on four great academic school years. As the leaders of our building you make us all proud. You challenge each other, you challenge your teachers and the end result is academic excellence. Tonight's award or scholarship is the capstone on a great career in our school system and on behalf of the Board of Education I wish you all the best of luck next year and beyond. Thank you very much. Good evening, I'm Karen Johnson, Supervisor of Guidance, History, and Social Sciences. Our first group of awards tonight is the Departmental Awards. For these recognitions, teachers select senior students who not only excel in their classes, but demonstrate curiosity, a love of the subject area, and a commitment to learning. Often, the most difficult part of these selections is narrowing down the nominations to a single student. Congratulations to those of you receiving these honors tonight. Hi, this is Jennifer Monago. I am an art teacher at West Milford High School, and we are presenting today our Visual Arts Department Award to Sabrina Pereira. Sabrina is one of the most innately talented young artists that it's been our privilege to teach and have in our art rooms. She brings to our studios a level of maturity and respect. In addition to being gracious and humble, her studio skills rise above that of her peers and she exemplifies a work ethic that teachers dream of. In our after school open studio, Sabrina could be found working daily on her assignments and there she would blossom and discuss art and her philosophies and life. Uh, she's a pleasure to talk to and to have around, and we're very, very proud of her. Uh, she's really, truly a genuine young artist. Congratulations, Sabrina. Hi, my name is Doug Haburn. I am the director of choral music activities here at the high school. This year's recipient for the Choral Music Award has been a member of the choral program since the seventh grade. She has risen through the ranks as a freshman member of the Women's Chorus, auditioned successfully to become a sophomore in the Honors Concert Choir, and while a member of the Concert Choir, auditioned successfully into the Highland Jazz Vocal Ensemble. As a member of these ensembles, she has won numerous awards at festivals and competitions. However, what makes the students stand out besides being a competent vocalist is the positive attitude and dedication she brings to each ensemble in which she is a part of. There is an uplifting and contagious enthusiasm for everything she does and it helps to promote a positive feeling throughout the entire ensemble. As an ensemble director, I need these soldiers to reinforce our common goals and this recipient accomplishes that better than anybody. With that said, the recipient for the 2020 Choral Music Award is Megan Rampola. This year's departmental award for instrumental music goes to a student who's played a key role in all of our major ensembles. This person was featured as a soloist with the marching band and the jazz ensemble, was a leader in the wind ensemble, won places in the North Jersey Area Wind Ensemble, the All-Region Wind Ensemble, the All-Region Orchestra, the All-State Band, and the All-State Orchestra. They were the number one player on their instrument in the entire state of New Jersey for two years in a row, and this year served as the drum major of the award-winning Highlander Marching Band. 
is with great pride that we award this year's Departmental Award for Instrumental Music to Benjamin McLaughlin. Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Schwartz um, and I'm honored to give out the Distinguished Scholar Award for Family and Consumer Sciences. Um, when I think of this student, I think of a creative, intelligent, hardworking, extremely thoughtful young lady, uh, and the list definitely could go on. Uh, she is a leader amongst her classmates, uh, is never shy to lend a helping hand. Um, she has worked so incredibly hard this year and continues to prove that teaching is her destiny. Um, this Distinguished Scholar Award goes to the one and only Sarah Chmielewski. Um, You deserve all the good things in life. Congrats. Good evening. My name is Nicole Claus, and I am one of the business teachers here at the high school. Tonight, I am presenting the Business Award to a student who I have known since her freshman year. I've had the privilege of having her in two of my classes, as well as working with her as a member of PALS. During her time at West Milford High School, she has proven her dedication to excellence in and out of the classroom. She is always a friendly, helpful asset to class with her calming presence. We wish her much success at Monmouth. This year, the award goes to Renee Burns. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Bruce Bialkin. I am a history teacher and political science teacher here at West Milford High School. Tonight, I am honored to present the 2020 History Department Award. This award recognizes a member of the senior class who has dedicated time and effort to the study of history, not out of obligation, but because of a love of history, of debate, of research, and of learning. This year's recipient has excelled in four years of history classes, working diligently and yet enthusiastically. Her projects, research papers, and academic contributions are exemplary. This is attributable not only to her strong intellect, but also to the positive, enthusiastic attitude she brings to academic challenges. She is curious, insightful, and ever engaged. She is a true student of history. Throughout her four years, teachers have recognized and praised this student's ability to collaborate with and inspire her peers. This connection extends beyond the classroom. While taking an academically challenging schedule, this student has been a valuable participant in the History Club, Student Council, and Highlander Field Hockey, as well as lacrosse. She is a leader, a team player, a kind and inspiring individual. On a personal note, I taught this student as a sophomore. She took an elective with me, which was a senior class. As the only sophomore in a class filled with seniors, she was undaunted. She did not hesitate to contribute. She did not shy away from challenge. Her desire to learn and participate was undaunted. I have also interacted with her on field trips and on athletic fields. And in everything she does, you see effort. Effort not because she has to, effort because she wants to. And in that, she chooses to find joy in all of her opportunities. And then she brings that joy to all of those around her, whether it's her peers or her teachers alike. This has earned her the admiration of many, myself included. Two years ago, I knew I would nominate her for this award, and now here we are. It is with great pleasure that I nominate Kari Malatak as the 2020 recipient of the History Department Award. Congratulations, Kari, you deserve it. Good evening. My name is Sharon West, and I'm the District Supervisor of English in West Milford. I'm pleased to be presenting on behalf of the West Milford High School English Department. It is my sincere pleasure to say a few words about the recipient of this year's English Department Distinguished Scholar Award. And although we are not physically present, the sentiment is sincere and the accolades just as grand. Our award-winning scholar is described by various teachers in the following ways. A very promising student of literature who delves below the surface of the text to give literature the quality of attention it invites. This student understands its aesthetic value, its philosophical implications, but mostly how it nourishes the inner life of the reader. An inquisitive, thoughtful, discerning, and eager scholar. A student who takes on challenging texts with ease and interest. An absolute pleasure to teach. It is such an honor to present Sophie Pillar with the English Department's 2020 Distinguished Scholar Award. Congratulations, Sophie. So well-deserved. Best wishes for success in all of your future endeavors. Good evening. I'm Jill Nick Kinnis of the math department at the high school. 
This year's math department distinguished scholar has been a student of mine for the past two years. She has impressed me with her mathematical ability as well as her problem solving techniques. She always enjoys problem solving and rises to the challenge of solving difficult math problems. This student has also volunteered her time helping underclassmen as a peer math tutor. I am extremely proud of the growth she has shown as a mathematician over the past two years. Tonight's math department award goes to Lancy Zhang. Congratulations, Lancy. Hello, my name is Joe Trenacosta, Supervisor of Health, Driver of Physical Education, and Director of Athletics, West Milford High School. Every school year, each department chooses students for the annual department award. The Health and Physical Education staff nominates students who are truly engaged in physical education and health education. These students are leaders in the classroom and in the gymnasium and are models of what physical education and health and full, ed full value is all about. The students chosen for this year's Health and Physical Education Awards are Kayla Seamer and Andrew Humble. On behalf of West Milford High School Physical Education Department, I would like to congratulate you both on this award. Congratulations and best of luck on all of your future endeavors. Hi everyone, Colleen Weiss Magasic here, Supervisor of Science and Industrial Technology Education. I am delighted to present this year's Science Department Award. The person who is receiving this award has taken Biology Honors, Chemistry Honors, Physics Honors, AP Chemistry, and Robotics. When I asked teachers how they would describe our recipient, they said, this is a truly remarkable student, one with a clear sense of purpose that learns difficult concepts quickly. This person uses their natural ability and creativity to solve problems and is always able to see the big picture. This person asks for extra work to better understand materials and offers technical and conceptual support to classmates. I am happy to announce this year's Science Department Award goes to Samantha Hazen. Congratulations, Samantha. Much luck in your future. Hi, everybody. Colleen Weiss Magasic here, Supervisor of Science and Industrial Technology Education. I'm so happy to present this year's award in Industrial Technology Ed. Our recipient took Wood 1, Wood 2, Wood 3, and Wood 4, as well as Mechanical Drawing and CAD. He's been involved in some pretty big projects around school, such as the Giving Closet and Guidance, the Podium and the Auditorium, and the design and building of benches for the newly refurbished greenhouses in science. When I asked teachers in the department, both from Macapin and the high school, to describe this student, they said he was great, polite, appreciative, and always willing to help his classmates. One teacher said, this is one of the finest students I've taught in my entire career. He never sacrifices quality for quantity and always produces more work than anyone else in the shop. We have some new technologies in the department, such as a CNC machine and a laser cutter, that this student picked up very quickly, mastered, and taught not only to his classmates, but to other teachers. I am so happy to announce that this year's award in industrial technology education goes to Stephen Chimileski. Stephen, wishing you much luck in your future. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Brenda Ludwig, the World Language Supervisor. The 2020 World Language Award is being presented to a student who is in advanced placement Spanish. Her AP teacher said about her that she is hardworking and responsible. And he thinks she's going to plan on minoring in Spanish in college. In addition to high quality work in Spanish, she also received the seal of biliteracy for proficiency in Russian. She'll be majoring in food science at the University of Delaware in the fall. It gives me great pleasure to present the 2020 World Language Award to Theodora Bertnetsky. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Claro, Assistant Principal at West Milford High School. I'd like to welcome everyone to Distinguished Scholar Evening. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Distinguished Scholars.
Brenda Ludwig, the World Language Supervisor, recognizing three seniors who have obtained the New Jersey Department of Education Seal of Biliteracy. They each took a rigorous test to show proficiency in reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. The Seal of Biliteracy will be affixed to the high school transcript. The three recipients are Theodora Bernetsky for Russian, who will be attending the University of Delaware, majoring in food science. Veronica Seek for Polish, who will be attending Rutgers, majoring in biology and psychology in the pre-med track. And Marie Parkin in Spanish, who will be attending Mason Grove School of the Arts at Rutgers, majoring in music education. Congratulations. Our next group of awards is sponsored by outside organizations and universities. They provide us with selection criteria, and then they award our students with books, medals, honors, and even offers of tuition support. Many of these awards recognize our juniors, whose scholastic efforts are already noteworthy. It is our pleasure to present these special recognitions. Hi, my name is Cheryl Batsolis, West Milford High School history teacher. Tonight, I am presenting the George Washington University Book Award, which recognizes high school juniors who embody the George Washington drive and spirit with their academic excellence, leadership qualities, diversity of thought, and ability to put knowledge into action. The student we have selected to receive this award has shown leadership both in and out of the classroom. As a freshman, she enrolled in AP World History and excelled due to her work ethic and resourcefulness. In A Push, she stood out from the rest of her class, catching her teacher's attention with her enthusiasm and excellent attitude towards any task she set out to accomplish. She excels academically because she is driven for hard work. Not only is she an exemplary student, but her pleasant demeanor and kindness are to be admired. The student balances extracurricular activities with an aggressive academic schedule. She is a member of the History Club, planning and participating in service events and competitions. She serves as a member of the Junior Class Council and took great initiative to organize the Junior Prom. In all she does, this student shares her happy and positive demeanor. She is helpful, insightful, community focused, and filled with Highlander pride. I am happy and honored to recognize our GW Book Award recipient, Hope Calamari. Congratulations, Hope. Hello, I am Ms. McCourt and I teach history at West Milford High School. I am also the History Club Advisor and am beyond delighted to present this year's History Club Student of the Year Award to a student who has been an amazing asset to our community. This student has tackled many challenging history classes with such a calm demeanor. She also brings a unique humor to everything she does. Personally, I am so grateful to her for her help with events like Spooktacular and contributing massive amounts of canned goods to local food pantries. It is no surprise that this year's History Club Student of the Award is going to Kari Malatak. Kari, you have been such, you have demonstrated such a strong work ethic and you bring such an, an enthusiastic and kind attitude in all you do. It is easy to see how you made it to state finals with your Willa Cather paper. I saw so many parallels with you and Cather, including your sense of adventure, your ability to meet new challenges, and your fearlessness in breaking barriers. Not only did you win last year's GW Bick Award, but you were also this year's History Club Student of the Year recipient, as well as the History Department Award recipient. This trifecta is quite the accomplishment and you are most deserving of all three awards, though it pales in comparison to all the contributions you have made to West Milford. Thank you again, Kari, and best of luck as you continue to break barriers. Hi, I'm Ms. Signorelli, and I'm presenting the St. John's Book Award. This award is presented to a high school junior who loves to read, who always has one more question, and who has an insatiable intellectual curiosity about humankind and the world around us. This year's award is being given to a student who is a delight to have in class due to his attention to detail, his love of reading and discussion, his contributions to the class rapport and camaraderie, as well as his consistent desire to ensure his mastery of each subject with which he is presented. For all of these reasons, this award is being presented to Colin Clinton. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Ms. Ignorelli and I'm presenting this year's Wellesley Award. The Wellesley Award is given to a female junior with an excellent academic record, exceptional character, and significant contributions to the school and community. This year's recipient is a member of GSA, working to increase the level of acceptance and tolerance for all students in our school. She's also a prominent member of the Interact Club, our school's community service organization. 
She has a passion for learning, not just in the classroom, but also about current and world events, intending to make the world a better place. For all of these reasons, it's my distinct privilege to present the Wellesley Award to Sarah Chandler. Congratulations. Hi everybody, Colleen Weiss Magasic here, Supervisor of Science and Industrial Technology Education with some awards for juniors. The students that will be recognized with these awards are in the top 10% of their class and have taken on some pretty academically rigorous and challenging schedules. The first set of awards come from Rochester Institute of Technology. Each award carries with it an $8,000 annual scholarship for a total of $32,000 if students apply and decide to attend RIT. The Medal for Computing is given to students who have a high level of knowledge and use of computing in computer science classes as well as in their other classes. These are students who eat, sleep, breathe computer science. Our recipient this year from West Milford High School is Michael Pagano. Great job, Michael. The Innovation and Creativity Award from RIT is given to students who are innovative in their use of technology, in design, in problem solving, just in the way that they tackle things in all subject areas. We have two recipients this year from West Milford, Axel Malatak and Brianna Hazen. Great job, Axel and Brianna, congratulations. Our third medal is the RPI Medal, which comes from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. This medal carries with it a $30,000 a year scholarship for a total of $120,000 for students who apply and decide to attend Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The medal has been given for over 100 years. It was designed to recognize students that show strength and success in the fields of mathematics and science. The recipient for this year's RPI medal from West Milford High School is Axel Malatak. Congratulations again, Axel. Congratulations to all of our award recipients, and everybody should have a wonderful summer. Good evening. My name is Daniel Novak, Director of Education for the West Milford Public Schools, and tonight I am honored to present the valedictorian and salutatorian for the 2020 graduating class at West Milford Township High School. Earning this honor is no easy feat, for it takes years of dedicated hard work to be recognized as the strongest academic students of one's graduating class. These outstanding and well-rounded students embody an impressive breadth of knowledge, an abundance of character, and an admirable drive to excel. They are the best of the best. Our salutatorian has earned a GPA of 4.58. She has challenged herself academically over the past four years, taking on AP and honors courses in all the core subjects, while expanding her horizons in mechanical drawing culinary and computer science courses. She has played competitive soccer since she was eight years old and was a valued member of the high school team. She will be attending Lehigh University in the fall, majoring in mathematics. She is also considering minors in psychology and computer science. It is my pleasure to introduce to you, Sarah Augustinelli. This year's valedictorian achieved an impressive 4.78 GPA over the past four years. She earned superior grades in several AP and honors courses while exploring accounting, robotics, and computer science. She has been passionate about helping others and has provided many hours of peer tutoring to share her love of learning with fellow students. She has received a letter of accommodation from National Merit and is a proud past participant in the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference. In the fall, she will attend Bryant University as a member of the honors program, majoring in applied mathematics and statistics with a minor in data science. It is an honor to share with you the 2020 West Milford High School valedictorian, Samantha Hazen. Hello Highlander family. My name is Don Haney. I'm one of the guidance counselors here at the high school and we've reached the community scholarship portion of, of tonight's program. Just a little history, there's about 40 groups and organizations that have been able to contribute to the scholarships for the class of 2020, uh, despite all what's been going on and shortened school years and distance learning and so on and so forth. I congratulate and I thank from the bottom of my heart all the groups that have been able to participate in this year's program. 
I'll be reading prepared statements from families, from individuals, um, and it is, there's a lot here to take in. So, without further delay, we now will begin the Community Scholarship Program. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations, 2020 graduates. Tonight, I'm speaking on behalf of my uncle, Neil Huber, and grandmother, Jerry Huber, whose husband was Alan Huber, my grandfather. Alan Huber was a member of the original faculty of West Milford High School. His teaching career spanned 34 years in the West Milford school system. He was a physical education teacher, a coach of cross country and track, the first director of athletics, and the founder of the West Milford Varsity Club. My grandfather believed that the proper balance of challenging academics and a sincere commitment to participation in sports, music, and or volunteer work would develop the work ethic and leadership skills needed for young people to succeed in their future aspirations. This evening, our family acknowledges and applauds two outstanding West Milford seniors who have embraced these values during their high school years. Our first recipient participated in field hockey, track and field, and recreational softball. She was a member of the National Honor Society and the Arts Honor Society. She will be attending the University of Maine, majoring in construction engineering technology with a minor in business management. The Huber family extends best wishes for continued success to Sophie Stoft. Our second recipient played four years of varsity cross country and winter and spring track. Leadership abilities were developed in his participation with the West Milford Special Olympics and Junior Highlanders track team as a volunteer and coach. He will attend Stevens Institute of Technology in the fall. The Huber family extends best wishes for continued success to John Osterley. Thank you and congratulations again. Good evening to all. I am Linda Connolly and this is my husband, Richard Randazzo. This is the second year we are awarding the Allison Connolly Randazzo Scholarship in honor of our daughter. It is our goal to support a student of high standing, someone that shares some of Allison's interests while she was at West Milford High School and reflects a personality of compassion. We found that in Renee Burns. Renee is a National Honor Society recipient and has earned the Distinguished Scholars Award since 2017. She has also been a dance team member since 2017, a passion shared with Allison that brought our extended family together many times for the UDA Disney World Championship. Renee's compassion is found in our involvement with the fundraising activities of the dance team, various activities at St. Joseph's Church, and Special Olympics. We congratulate Renee on her accomplishments during high school and wish her success as she continues her education at Monmouth University. We encourage her to keep dancing, to find joy in every day, and to experience new adventures. We support her by giving her the Allison Connolly Randazzo Scholarship. Stay well, stay strong, Stay safe. Thank you and good night. And congratulations to all graduates. A scholarship from the Aptua PTA. Our organization, the Aptua PTA, endeavors to enrich the educational experience of our children. Our mission is to provide programs and events that benefit all children in our Aptua Elementary School. We strive toward the best school experience both during the day and after. Part of our mission includes providing scholarship opportunities to our former students. This year, the Aptua PTA is pleased to present this scholarship to John Osterley. We wish John the very best of luck as his, at his intended school, the Stevens Institute of Technology. We know that he will make both Aptua and West Milford very proud the 2020 Aspire Scholarship. The Aspire Scholarship is given in recognition of a senior who strives to do their best academically in extracurricular activities and in our community. This year's recipient has impressed his teachers throughout his high school career with his hard work, dedication to success, 
and involvement in community service in the face of many challenges. This young man exemplifies the true spirit of the Aspire Scholarship. We are happy to present the 2020 Aspire Scholarship to Ricky Esposito. The Perillo Family Scholarships. The Perillo Family awards two separate scholarships each year since 2005. Lance Corporal Brian B. Perillo was killed in action on January 1, 2005 in the Anbar province in Iraq. After Brian's death, we decided to create a scholarship fund to offer a hockey and a military scholarship to West Milford High School seniors. Brian loved the Marines and he loved hockey. He played on the West Milford Bears and the West Milford Township High School hockey teams. This year, we are proud to present the 2020 Brian P. Perillo Hockey Scholarship to Evan Brown. We are also very proud to present the Military Scholarship to Marine Daniel C. Lucarelli and Marine Brandon M. Baldwin. Congratulations and best of luck to these three recipients. Hi Highlanders, my name is Matt Romeo and I'm the head coach of the Junior Highlanders Track Club Spring Team. I have the honor and privilege to present for the first time scholarships from our club. This year, we were able to award five very deserving student athletes scholarships. We are proud of these athletes. We thank them for their hard work and dedication. We thank them for representing and being a fine example of what it means to be a Highlander. These athletes excelled on and off the field, both in and out of the classroom. All of the athletes took time to work with the youth teams. They showed them how to be a track athlete. They showed them what it means to be a track athlete. And they taught them how to be a Highlander. I thank these athletes. I appreciate them. Patrick Babbitt, Olivia Balassieri, Jack Osterley, Ashley Wardlaw, and Matteo Zenser. Congratulations. These are well-deserved scholarships. All five of you gave time. A few of you gave more time than we can ever imagine. And I thank you for that. It was my honor and privilege to work with you all. I wish you nothing but the best moving forward and hope that you are successful in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations, Highlanders. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hello, my name is Joe Trent Acosta, Supervisor of Health, Driver and Physical Education and Director of Athletics at West Milford High School. For a few years now, Iris Welsh Wishling, former principal at Apshua Elementary School and Director of Education, has funded the Full Value Scholarship. Mrs. Welshling has always been a strong supporter of character education and core values. With over 30 senior applicants this year, the scholarship is being awarded to a terrific student who is a role model with these virtues. This student is ranked among the top of his class with straight A's and participates in multiple sports and activities in West Milford High School. This year's full value scholarship is being awarded to Patrick Babbitt on behalf of the West Milford High School Physical Education Department and the Character Education Committee, I would like to congratulate Patrick on his award Congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors. The Chris Bowes Scholarship. A letter from the Bowes family. We just want to start off by saying thank you to all the student athletes who applied for the Chris Bowes Foundation Scholarship and congratulations to all the seniors at West Milford High School's graduating class of 2020. We created the Chris Bowes Foundation to give back to student athletes who make a difference both on and off the field. Whether it was in the classroom, on the field, at home, or in the community, your hard work and, and passion embodies what it means to be a student athlete and proves that just one person is all it takes to make a difference. Chris was an unfortunate passenger in a car accident in 2016, passing away at the age of 20. There are many of you who may not have known Chris, but he, like you, was dedicated to making a difference in the lives that he touched. He loved to give back, and thus, in his memory, the Chris Bowes Foundation Scholarship was created. Hearing all of your on-the-field stories, 
as well as hearing about all of the good you have done in your classes and communities, make us proud to be able to award these scholarships. This year, we are happy to announce that we have a total of six scholarships that we are awarding. One $5,000 scholarship and five $1,000 scholarships. We are proud to announce that the $5,000 scholarship recipient for 2020 is Aaron Hahn. What you did for the girls' golf program is incredible. There is no doubt that your dedication and perseverance will help inspire future female golfers to pursue their passion throughout their high school experience. We hope that you will carry the same dedication with you to Susquehanna University, and we wish you the best of luck. We are also proud to announce that the five $1,000 scholarships for the 2020 year are Kayla Seamer, Emma Simi, John Osterley, Matthew Lombardi, and Joey Heisler. Congratulations to all six recipients. We wish you the best of luck in the next step of your journey. We want to thank each and every student athlete who applied for the Chris Bowes Foundation Scholarship. No matter what, your hard work both on and off the field never goes unnoticed. So again, congratulations to this year's graduating class and thank you for helping us keep Chris's memory alive. Good evening. My name is Joe Jordan and I'm the head baseball coach and TV science teacher here at West Milford High School. I first want to congratulate the entire class of 2020 and your families on these well-deserved honors tonight. I'm here tonight representing the West Milford High School Baseball Booster Club. Our official booster club was established in 2017 and has gone to great lengths to give our baseball student athletes the best possible experience while playing here at West Milford. The funds our club has raised has resulted in two Florida spring training trips, numerous upgrades in equipment and uniforms, and community service initiatives where we have given back to the community we all love. Most recently, our club joined forces with the softball program to donate food for entire units at St. Joe's Patterson and Chilton Hospitals, where our alumni are medical personnel on the front lines of the COVID-19 outbreak. Last year, the club awarded its first series of yearly scholarships to seniors. This year, the next group of seniors were not able to even begin or end their final baseball season in a West Milford uniform, but we will always be grateful for their dedication to the baseball program during their time here. Therefore, on behalf of the West Milford High School Baseball Booster Club and its board, I am proud to award all five of our seniors this year's West Milford High School Baseball Booster Club scholarships. They are Jordan Arujo, Billy Egan, Hunter Johnson, Jonathan Kenny, and Glenn Nagy. Congratulations and best of luck to all of you in the future. On behalf of the West Milford PBA Local 162, I am proud to present the Chief John H. Moeller Scholarship. Chief Moeller was certified as the first full-time police officer in February of 1934. He was then promoted to the rank of police chief in 1949. After a 42-year career, he retired in 1971 and lived in the township until his passing in 2007 at the age of 101. As a community, we can take solace in the good and lasting work that Chief Moeller did during his lifetime. It is this faithful and dedicated service that we recognize in this scholarship. The members of the West Milford PBA are proud to support, support a graduating high school student who, who chooses to continue their education in a criminal justice field. This year, the, our scholarship winner is Joseph Heisler. The Charles W. D. Amico Scholarship, sponsored by Skate It Forward Incorporated. A letter from Dawn Maggi, who's a teacher at Macapin Middle School. The Charles W. D. Amico Scholarship, sponsored by Skate It Forward Incorporated, has been presented to a West Milford High School senior since 2012 when my father passed away from pancreatic cancer. He was not a West Milford resident. However, he would be pleased to have a scholarship in his memory presented to a student graduating from where the district where I've worked for the past 18 years. Each year, our family looks for, a, for an applicant embodying the same qualities my dad exhibited throughout his life, including determination, courage, strength, and the will to overcome any obstacles to reach success. This year, the Charles W. D. Amico Scholarship sponsored by Skated Forward Incorporated 
is presented to two West Milford Township High School seniors. The first recipient will attend Passaic County Community College this fall. And as his former eighth grade math teacher at Macapin Middle School, my family and I wish him all the best. It is an honor to present the 2020 scholarship for the Charles W. D'Amico Scholarship to Richard Esposito. Our second recipient was also a former eighth grade student of mine at Macapin Middle School, and it has been a pleasure to see him succeed. He will attend Sussex County Community College to study welding, and we wish him all the best. It is an honor to present the 2020 Charles W. D'Amico Scholarship to Thomas Barker. From the D'Amico and Maggi families, as well as Skated Forward Incorporated, we wish our recipients all of the best and congratulations to the West Milford High School graduates of 2020. Hello students, faculty, and esteemed members of the community. I am Nicole Petrosillo, PTO Secretary for Maple Road School and English teacher here at the high school. When the students of the class of 2020 were little, first starting in their educational careers as eager kindergartners, some of these students went to Maple Road School, happy to be known as Mustangs, where they were taught the values of collaboration, community, and passion. These two recipients not only embraced these qualities, they lived them wholeheartedly, giving of themselves to others and always striving to do their best. We are very pleased to be able to assist our alumni with their future endeavors in college and to present each of these two remarkable young people a $500 scholarship. I am so very honored and pleased to recognize my former students, Ms. Kristen Graff and Mr. Sam Loritano. Congratulations. The Marshall Hill PTA. A letter from Kelly Stinziano, treasurer of the Marshall Hill PTA. This scholarship is created to honor two people who have been a huge part of the, of the Marshall Hill community. The John Ducey Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of John Ducey by his mother, Marilyn Ducey, former longtime secretary for Marshall Hill School. During the 2016-2017 school year, Valerie, Valerie McGinnis, dedicated selfless volunteer and longtime Marshall Hill parent, was added to this memorial scholarship. This scholarship provides for former Marshall Hill students that will continue higher education after graduating West Milford High School. This scholarship money is, is raised during a water balloon toss, which is sponsored by the Marshall Hill PTA, during Marshall Hill's field day. This year, the scholarship recipients are Sophie Stoft and Zoe Starr. Congratulations, ladies. Lakeland Bank has hosted its annual scholarship golf outing for 46 years, and over that time has awarded over $2 million to local students pursuing a higher education. The bank strongly believes that access to an affordable college education is vital for a vibrant and economically healthy community. This year, we are presenting $225,000 to students from 78 public and private high schools throughout New Jersey and Orange County, New York. It is with great pleasure that we are able to provide an award to so many well-deserving and academically successful students. Congratulations to the 2020 scholarship recipients and much success on your college journey. Okay, welcome to scholarship night, which isn't quite scholarship night. Um, in honor of the students that have worked so long for the yearbook, I'd like to award three scholarships this evening. As we know, the yearbook is a tremendous job, as evidenced by the depth of these books. 300 pages dragged over the finish line by a small group of students. So to acknowledge the work of Ashley Stein, who was tremendously helpful in getting the senior quotes completed and joining our staff really two years ago, Justin Shoring, who has trained the freshmen and encouraged them to stay with it despite um, pressing deadlines, and Samantha Hazen, who's been in the chair in the yearbook room for hours and hours, providing us sustenance and support. Can't do it without you. Love you so much. Good luck, graduating seniors. This next scholarship is from the Friends of Long Pond Ironworks. 
It is a great honor for the Niederstrasser family, on behalf of the Friends of Long Pond Iron Works, to award this scholarship in the 2020 school year. The Long Pond Iron Works New Jersey History Award has been funded fully by the Niederstrasser family. Their three children passed through all scholar levels in West Milford, West Milford Educational School System, and it is the family's desire to provide this symbolic award and scholarship as a demonstration of thankfulness. Carlos Guillermo, Hans Peter, and Oscar have, have finished their undergraduate degrees and graduate degrees at several institutions with much success. We all hope that your interest in history and education, specifically the history of our state, continues in the future, and we extend our best wishes for your upcoming graduate studies. The Friends of Long Pern Ironworks is a nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving and interpreting the history of the Long Pond Ironworks right here in West Milford, New Jersey. And I proudly present the 2020 Long Pond Ironworks New Jersey History Award to Madison Augustine. Passaic County Directors of Guidance Scholarship. Each year, high schools in Passaic County are chosen by the group of the, of the Directors of Guidance in Passaic County to award specific seniors in some high schools. This year, West Milford High School was fortunate enough to be chosen, and we are proud to present Samantha Hazen with this year's 2020 Passaic County Directors of Guidance Scholarship. Congratulations. Paul Roberts Memorial Scholarship. Paul Roberts was a 2015 West Milford High School graduate who attended the Hohokus School of Trade, specializing in heating, vacuum, and air conditioning, HVAC. Since Paul tragically passed away in 2017, our family seeks to give back to students in Paul's name, who are also pursuing a trade. This year's recipients of the scholarship are Thomas Barker and Alyssa Quigley. Congratulations to Thomas and, Al and Alyssa, and a big congratulations to the class of 2020. The Al Pecci Upper Greenwood Lake Scholarship. A letter from Linda Jacobs. Good evening, graduates. I hope everyone and their families are doing well. This has certainly been a very unusual time for all of you. I am presenting the Al Pecci UGL scholarship on behalf of my family. I wish we were all together in the high school auditorium together to, to celebrate this special moment. While this may not be the way in which you envision your senior year to end, please know that so many people are thinking of you and wishing you all nothing but the best. You are here tonight because you know what it means to work hard. You know what it means to do your best. You know what it means to persevere. Things are strange now, but this too shall pass. Best wishes for your college years and beyond to be filled with nothing but happiness and good fortune. I want to congratulate tonight's two recipients, Ashley Wardlaw and Matteo Zemzer. Congratulations to the recipients and congratulations to West Milford Township High School's Class of 2020. Hello, my name is Joe Trenacosta, Director of Athletics at West Milford High School and co-founder of the West Milford Athletic Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame began in 2018, and for the third year now, the Hall of Fame has chosen one male and one female student athlete for its scholarships. Both these athletes are super involved with activities and athletics at West Milford High School and are both State County Student Athletes of the Year for 2020. The male recipient of the Hall of Fame scholarship this year is Kevin Schaefer, and the female recipient is Kayla Seamer. On behalf of the West Milford Athletics Hall of Fame, I would like to congratulate both of you on this award. Congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors. West Milford Elks Lodge Scholarship. From David Townsend. The West Milford Elks Lodge Number 2236 is excited to participate in this year's awards presentation. We present $500 scholarships 
to 10 local students that are pursuing a higher education upon high school graduation. This year, six are graduating from West Milford Township High School. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Our scholarship program is made possible through the continued community effort at breakfast and dinner events. These events are held at the Elks Lodge Club on, on Union Valley Road, located here in West Milford. We look forward to your future support as we get back to normal. Until that time, please stay safe and healthy. This year's 2020 recipients are Courtney Sianke, Daniel Carney, Nicole Karamidjian, Sam Laritano, Jared Rodums, and Ashley Stein. Congratulations to each and every one of you. West Milford Girls Softball Scholarship. The West Milford Girls Softball Association has a long-standing tradition of awarding scholarships to the most deserving young women. We believe that it is important to give back to our community and recognize those who make an impact on and off the softball field. Our association has seen many student athletes throughout the years, and the girls that were selected this year are among the most deserving since the scholarship's inception. This year, we determined that four student athletes have earned a scholarship through the West Milford Girls Softball Association, and they are as follows. Samantha Hazen, Anna Brand, Alyssa Quigley, and Casey Jade Liebler. Congratulations, ladies. The West Milford High School PTSO Scholarship. The West Milford High School PTSO would like to congratulate the class of 2020 and those students who will receive a $500 scholarship. These scholarships are made possible and funded through the PTSO Scholarship Program, and those chosen have been members of the West Milford Township High School PTSO. Big congratulations goes out to this year's four recipients, Sarah Chimileski, John Gaffney, Mary Perebski, and Jason Secklin. Congratulations to the class of 2020 from the West Milford Township High School PTSO. West Milford Midget Football and Cheerleading Association. A letter from this group. On behalf of the West Milford Midget Football and Cheerleading Association, I would like to wish the entire class of 2020 all of the best in their future endeavors. This was not the ceremony you had hoped for, but you know your community is behind you 100%. We are proud of each and every one of you. Today, we will pre be presenting two extraordinary seniors with scholarships. Both of these students have been dedicated through their high school years supporting the youth program and supporting the, the young Highlanders ready to come our way. Gabrielle Farias has spent many hours choreographing and teaching cheer routines to the girls in grades K through six. She's a familiar face on the cheer field and the girls absolutely love her. Gabby, we are going to miss you. Thank you for supporting us even after promoting out of our program. Our field would not be the same without you. Please come back and visit. We wish you all the best of luck at Virginia Tech. We know you will do wonderful things in your future. Joey Heisler, our field won't be the same without you. You always had a drive to help out the younger kids, even when you were a young kid yourself. Your dedication to the sport of football and our program is overwhelming. When you aren't coaching, you're in the concession stand. When you're not in the concession stand, you're refereeing a flag football game or you're videoing a game for one of our youth programs. We know your future is bright and you will do great things as you join your sister at the University of New Haven. We do, we do sure hope to see you on our sidelines for a game or two this season, as we don't believe that's, that New Haven is that far away to keep Joey from a West Milford Midget football game. Congratulations to both of you. On behalf of the Paradise Noel PTA, and upon the recommendations from the PTA Scholarship Committee. I'm excited to announce the three recipients that have shown great accomplishments within the school, shown leadership and compassion with West, within the West Milford community, 
and has achieved excellence in academics as well as within our community. The three recipients are Nicholas Plutza, Sophie Pilar, Eileen Van Kirk. Congratulations. All recipients will receive a check in the amount of $500. Paradise Mall PTA wishes you all good luck in all of your future endeavors. The Westbrook PTA Scholarship. Westbrook PTA is a group of parents, caregivers, teachers, and staff that come together to nurture the students of Westbrook Elementary School. We raise money to fund after-school clubs, programs, appreciate our staff, and many other items to enhance the student experience for Westbrook Elementary School. We also raise money to fund three $500 scholarships for our alumni every year. The committee wants to share that they were so very impressed with the students' accomplishments. This year was a trying time for our students, both current and past, and we are very proud of every single one of you. This year, the Westbrook PTA is proud to present four recipients this year for scholarships due to a donation from one of our members. And the PTA, the recipients for the PTA scholarships this year are Sarah Agatzinelli, Stephen Shimaleski, Carrie Malatak, and Madison Vaca. The Westbrook PTA wishes you all well in your future endeavors, and we are all rooting for you. Congratulations. Hello Highlanders, my name is Nancy Rickard and I'm the newly elected president of the West Milford High School Soccer Booster Club. This year we were fortunate to have watched, cheered, and celebrated all of our girls and boys teams in the fall, including a large group of seniors. We hope that we'll have that opportunity in the fall. If you are not familiar with us, some of our fundraising efforts include a clothing sale, plant sale, concession stand and soccer shootout at our youth and senior night games, and a bowling night. The funds we raise support our coaches with needed equipment and our players with summer training, practice shirts, their end of season dinner, among other things. Of course, we also fund scholarships for our outgoing seniors. The seniors who chose to apply for our scholarship were asked to submit an essay answering the question, what does soccer mean to me? We received many deserving submissions and want to thank and congratulate all of our applicants. However, we can only award four scholarships. So it is my pleasure and honor to congratulate Sarah Agostinelli, Madison Vaca, Ashley Wardlaw, and Alex Lang. We wish you and all of our seniors much success in whatever your next step is, and we hope you will all find ways to continue to enjoy the game of soccer and maybe even pass it on to others. Congratulations to the class of 2020. The Valerie A. McGinnis Scholarship Award. The Valerie A. McGinnis Scholarship Fund was established to honor the memory of Valerie McGinnis in a way most fitting to her devotion to education by providing a scholarship award to a West Milford Township High School senior, and in most cases, seniors. The fund's objective intends to provide monetary assistance to further advance educational ambitions or training of individuals anxious to advance their, their opportunities to compete in today's society. The selection criteria has always been to award students, scholastic achievements, community involvement, and other extracurricular involvement. We are proud to nominate Aaron Hahn and Riley McGill to receive the awards for their fine efforts to include displaying a cooperative, positive, and supportive team and classroom attitudes. Also on a personal note from the Wiseman and McGinnis families, the families would like to recognize this year has not been an easy one for any of us, but for the students who have lost their final year together, we share their sorrow and disappointment. Nonetheless, we hope they all leave West Milford Township High School with very fond memories. The Wallace Memorial Scholarship. John Wallace was a resident and longtime township attorney who valued education. Upon his passing, he left 
monetary funds for the school district to award deserving seniors as they graduate from high school and move on to their chosen post-secondary paths. This year's award winners for the Wallace Memorial Fund are Gabrielle Farias and Nicholas Pluta. Congratulations to you both. Hello everyone. I am Tom Wardlaw from the West Milford Soccer Club. This year, our board has chosen two students to receive our scholarship awards. Both students have been a remarkable role model, both on and off the soccer field. First, Cristiano Fidelgo. You have shown remarkable team spirit and dedication on and off the soccer field, and also want to thank you for volunteering your time to help out with our youth program. Our second candidate is Ashley Wardlaw. You have also shown remarkable team spirit and dedication on and off the soccer field. Four years ago, you became a youth trainer for the soccer club. You were one of only five students in the state of New Jersey to do this and volunteer your time to coach two teams within our club and give back to our future Highlanders. I wanna personally thank both of you and good luck on whatever your future holds and congratulations also to the entire class of 2020. West Milford Rotary Scholarships. A letter from Amy Lewis, a member of the West Milford Rotary. West Milford Rotary Club chooses its scholarship recipients based on their understanding and commitment to the Rotary motto, service above self. Our mission states, we provide service to others, promote integrity, and advance world understanding, goodwill, and peace through our fellowship of business, professional, and community leaders. Through their applications, these four young men and women have displayed the integrity and values that, that Rotarians around the world strive to demonstrate. And this year's 2020 recipients of the West Milford Rotary Club Scholarships are Yuri Ananastrab, John Osterley, Sarah Agostinelli, and Nicholas Pluta. West Milford Township Lions Club Scholarship. The West Milford Township Lions Club is a service club with the motto, the Lions Serve. It's that simple. And it has been since the Lions Club International first established itself in 1917. People join together to give time and effort to improving community and world. The West Milford Lions have proudly been serving this community since 1956. And this year, they would like to recognize three recipients for the West Milford Township Lions Club. They are Renee Burns, Gabrielle Farias, and Kristen Graff. Congratulations, ladies. Women's Club of West Milford. The Women's Club of West Milford is happy to congratulate three recipients for this year's scholarships. First recipient will be attending Virginia Tech University this fall. This person plans on earning a Bachelor of Science in Biology in pre-med and pursuing a doctorate degree in the medical field. At this time, she plans on either becoming a physician or a researcher. A few of her major high school achievements include National Honor Society, captain of the West Milford High School varsity cheerleading squad. She is a pal. She's a member of the varsity club and helped out with the Special Olympics and as a peer tutor. Congratulations to Gabrielle Farias. The second recipient will be attending the University of Delaware this fall. She plans on earning a degree in chemical engineering. For the last two years, she has represented West Milford High School as a student ambassador to the NJISAA. This group selects student athletes from across New Jersey to represent their township and to help design legislation and focus points of the state's position on high school sports. She was chosen from a pool of hundreds of applicants. As a student ambassador, 
She worked tirelessly with other high school juniors and seniors to provide athletes insight on legal issues within the state and to create guidelines for sports events. She's been very involved in our school's sports programs. Four-year field hockey player, a four-year four -year lacrosse player, and an area band member for three years. The second recipient for this Women's Club of West Milford Scholarship, congratulations to Sophie Pilar. For the third recipient for the Women's Club Scholarship goes to a female who is attending the University of Maine this fall. She plans on earning a degree in construct construction engineering with a minor in business and management. A few of her highlights include a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the National Art Honor Society. She got a coach's award from West Milford Field Hockey this past fall, and she's worked on various sponsored sports programs and has committed herself to a lot of community service in West Milford. The big congratulations for this goes out to Sophie Stoff. The Women's Club of West Milford is pleased to award these three $500 scholarships for 2020. Okay, The members of the West Milford Club of West Milford wish to acknowledge the contributions of each of the ladies to their community and for their academic achievements. And best of luck to each and every one of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Although no one would have guessed, this is how you would be celebrated tonight, all individually from your homes. I hope that you know that you are still being celebrated and recognized for your hard work throughout your high school careers and just how proud your community is of you. Congratulations to all award recipients. West Milford Junior Wrestling is an organization in town whose objective is to teach young boys and girls to always do their best, to work hard and seek excellence, and develop individual spirit through participation in the sport of wrestling. This year, our program is awarding two scholarships to individuals who have embodied these principles through their time in the junior wrestling program and throughout their high school careers. This year's recipients are passionate about, passionate about wrestling and have worked hard to earn all that they have achieved in the sport. It is fitting that this year's recipients are both being recognized tonight. 11 years after they both started their wrestling careers as part of our program. This year's West Milford Junior Wrestling Scholarships are being awarded to Joey Heisler and Josh Curving. Congratulations. The West Milford Chamber of Commerce Scholarships. For over 55 years, the West Milford Chamber of Commerce has been pleased to present the West Milford Chamber of Commerce Wilbur Frederick Scholarships to two West Milford High School graduates who plan to pursue a degree in business. Our decisions are based on overall scholastic achievements, community and school involvement, leadership qualities, and most of all, a passion for their chosen path. These are all guideposts for a journey to a successful business career. The first recipient has plans to study business management in college, he also wants to expand in a, on a current home-based woodworking business into a successful full-time business. Your application depicts an overall well-balanced young man with a goal of pursuing a career based on a talent that seems to give you a great amount of satisfaction. Stephen Chmielewski, we look forward to seeing your products on sale in our West Milford Township community. The second recipient has plans to be an accountant. She also sees this career path as an opportunity to help families realize their own financial goals. Your application, resume, and letter of introduction are quite impressive and give a valuable insight to you as a person and your future aspirations. Your words portrayed you as a focused young woman using her skills and compassion to provide a rewarding career for herself while helping others gain their goals in, in, in achieving a more secure financial life. Maria Son Gadao, congratulations on being the second recipient for the West Milford Chamber of Commerce Scholarships. On behalf of the West Milford Chamber of Commerce Scholarship Committee and the entire 
West Milford Chamber of Commerce. It is our pleasure to present, to present both of you with a $1,000 Achievement Award. Congratulations and the best of luck for a future that is successful. Hi, my name is Mike Lombardi and I'm the treasurer of West Milford Little League. And this is my son, Logan, who is a West Milford Little League player. For over 40 years, West Milford Little League has been providing the children of our community the ability to play America's favorite pastime. With over 400 players, volunteers, and families participating in our league, our program has been built on life lessons, socialization, and sportsmanship that benefits everyone involved. Our community is important to us because it's all of you that make it what it is today. We believe in giving back to the community, that it has supported us through so many years, including our sponsors, participants, and including our raffle, which makes events like West Milford High School Baseball Senior Night, Little League Night, and the West Milford Scholarship Award possible. On behalf of the executive board, the directors, the volunteers, and all the participants of West Milford Little League, we are happy to announce the two individuals who will receive this year's West Milford Little League Scholarship Award. And they are... Congratulations to Sam the Bull Lilitano and my favorite brother, John Kenny. Congratulations, guys. This concludes tonight's programs. I want to thank each of the groups who recognize our class of 2020. Certainly, I want to thank them for their time and efforts to help out the community, to recognize our seniors that are graduating in a very unique year. Uh, I also want to thank all the people who filmed themselves to be a part of this program for department award winners and book award winners and so on and so forth. Thank you to the administrators for also being a part of this program. And a big, huge thank you goes out to Joe Jordan, who is putting these video clips all together. I thank you for your time, your patience, and your understanding. Congratulations one and all to the class of 2020, and we will see you soon.